New year, new me, bitches. Here to teach you how to lose them fats. Like, why would I listen to a fat guy to lose, lose fat? Shut up, bitch. I've been here a long time. Done a lot of things. I've seen some tanks. Ladies and gentlemen, sell the mic. Just turn on a subscription. Why do I say turn on subscription? Just turn on the notifications, subscribe right now, give this thing a thumbs up, and comment below what you guys want content-wise 2018. We're doing really big tangs, like Drake says, uh, but today I wanna talk about fat loss, some basic tips. You know I'm a fan of kind of flexible dieting, tracking your food, and being aware, just learning more about nutrition, uh, and I find that tracking food is something that can teach you that, but here are some basic tips that I think can help you, all of you, burn some fat, lose some weight, be a little bit healthier in the new year because you know, new year, new me, who dis? Here we go. In no particular order. Tip number uno. Tip number one, stop drinking your calories. And everyone's gonna be like, Mike, I've heard that, I know that, but then why aren't you doing it? The difference between knowing something, hearing something, and applying something is gonna be the difference towards your success. So stop drinking your calories, focus on some water. Look, I'll have a Diet Coke here and there. I've been chugging on some LeCru, but if you get your liquids in, a lot of water, one, you're gonna be less full if you're hydrated. A lot of times our bodies need water, but we think we need food, that's that mind game. Uh, and number two, if you start taking away calories from there, that's just an easy way to that's just an easy way to get into a calorie deficit. And again, to lose weight, we just basically need to burn more calories than our body needs daily. And hopefully if we're in a slight deficit, we'll keep some of that muscle and we'll stay feeling good for the long term, which is always the goal. Tip number two, focus on protein every meal. So uh, depending on how many meals you eat, that's kind of up to you and your lifestyle. The latest research that I've heard of from them experts that are way up there, and I'm just a little guy down here, is that meal frequency is not as important as some people or we all may have thought at one point everyone thought you need to toke that uh stoke toke i don't know it's 2018 maybe they're token out here in uh, california but i think it's stoke the fire the metabolic fire that if you eat more meals in the day your metabolic uh furnace is kicking or some garbage like that that actually doesn't work so basically it's more than um you know, two, three, four, five meals a day is just fine. Um, evenly dosing your protein through the day may help build some muscle or maintain that muscle where you're losing fat. But just focus on whatever meal, if you're eating out or if you're at home, get the majority of your meal focused in on proteins and that'll help. I typically recommend people that are in a normal body fat percentage, you know, 25% or less, um, to have about one gram of protein per pound of body weight that you weigh. That's just kind of a general rule. There are some specifics to that, but that's what I got. Tip number three, 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 three. What we need to do is have a plan. If you want to go on a road trip, if you want to fly your family somewhere. You always have to have an itinerary, you have to have a plan, you have to have a route that you want to go to. So daily, weekly, monthly, let's have a plan on our exercise and our workout, which are the same thing, hypothetically. Let's have a plan for not only our training, our activities, our life, uh, but also our diets and our meals. So know about what time you can eat, know where there's gonna be food. You don't have to be locked into the Tupperware, but if you have an idea like, okay, I know I'm going on a road trip and Chick-fil-A has better healthy options for myself than maybe McDonald's does, and I know I'll be around a Chick-fil-A around 11 o'clock, so I should eat something at eight o'clock so I'm not starving the whole day, just a random example because I'm driving to LA in a couple days to give you an idea, but let's have a general plan of when we're going to eat, what type of foods we're going to eat, and also if you have an event that night that's a work event or uh, maybe you're going ice cream tasting. I don't know if that's a thing, but I hope it was that you would account for that and hopefully cut away maybe some of the carbs and fat earlier in the day to make up for it. I'm not saying don't go to that ice cream tasting, which I hopefully is a thing because ice cream tasting sounds way better than wine tasting, and you just adjust for it accordingly throughout your day, throughout your week, maybe go for a little extra walk at lunch, something to kind of counteract those extra calories because ice cream tasting uh, sounds like my new business venture that we're getting into 2018 because it sounds almost as good as an ice cream buffet, which was another business idea that I had in the past that I never acted on. And so whoever picks that up in the comments will have a very wealthy business and lucrative business going down in the future. Ice cream tasting with an ice cream buffet truck or something of that nature, I don't know, but have a plan, figure out what you're doing, have an idea of where you're headed, why you're doing it, have a plan.
this is something I'm a big proponent of is if you're getting uh, if in the lower body fat percentages or you're a little bit more dialed in and you're counting your macronutrients, you're counting your calories, which is the most accurate way in my opinion to lose weight or to gain muscle, whatever the goal may be, is to always track your food, put it in your app or write it down before you eat it. One, I think that helps a lot of people mentally with their portion control and what's they're actually going to put in their body. Two, it's a way to stay organized. And three, for the beginner, I think it's a great way to understand what types of carbs, fat, and protein, what amount of calories are in what types of food. Sometimes you'll eat something crazy. You eat a big old Chipotle burrito and then you put it in your phone and you're like, dang, I just wharfed down 1,500 calories. Rather than if you put it in your phone, you're like, man, that's 1,500 calories. Maybe I should do a bowl because I'm going to an ice cream tasting later or something. Number five and our last one, even though it isn't necessarily a diet, tip per se is let's start to focus on performance let's focus on our activity uh, obviously the more you move the more calories you burn and also no one ever looked worse gaining muscle and losing fat so if you want to get into some strength training you could get into yoga you could get into running i don't really care what it is but find an activity you enjoy and do a little bit more of it and not only have those with a plan and a schedule but also the activity that's non specific per se where even if you want to go for an extra walk if you want to stand instead of sit if you want to go play with your dogs or walk your dogs an extra time the dogs will love it you'll love it you'll burn a little more calories and then of course that deficit of calories will be a little bit bigger and you can lose more fat maybe adding a hike in with some friends every once in a while playing some extra sports basketball soccer whatever it might be just sprinkling in activities when and how you can the old adage of not taking that escalator and taking the stairs little things like that really do add up if you stay consistent and do them every day every week every month ladies and gentlemen i that is just the tips for the new year new you fat loss plan you could do side benzo sit-ups there's so many great songs about fat loss baby got back kanye's workout plan how's that one go uh something mocha lottie you got to do pilates Crunchies. I don't know, man. Kanye's rapping a whole song about Pilates. It's amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have more vlogs, more gym footage, more informational stuffs on this channel. So be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, sell the mic. I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys in the, in the next one. Happy New Year to you. New year, new me, who dis, new YouTube channel, new subscribers, new workout plan, new ice cream tastings. We out.